So in the wake of the tenant media Rico and the expose of the amount of conservative MAGA influencers who are either from Russia or from the former Soviet Union or paid for by Russia, I have become very paranoid of content creators who support and propagate the propaganda of nations who are enemies of the United States. And the recent situation involving Asmongold and Hassan Piker has brought my paranoia all the way back up to the surface again. Why, you may ask? Well, let's get into it. Asmongold recently got into a big controversy concerning his statements about Palestinians, which were the statement was insane. Let's watch. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry in the river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. How much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. I think we can all sit here and condemn those statements. Totally insane, totally unhinged, totally crazy. But something happened that really rubbed me the wrong way. Asmongold was banned for his borderline white supremacist comments and that bothers me. I'm offended. And the reason why I'm upset, hear me out, is because Hassan Piker, the person who's supposedly responsible for reporting him, is an individual who promotes terrorism on Twitch and has never once been banned or reprimanded for it as far as we know. Hassan is not the only content creator who does this on Twitch, which bothers me and concerns me. But before we get into the issue of Twitch being the home of anti-Semitic Holocaust denying terror supporters, I first want to address, readdress the situation between Asmongold and Hassan. Asmongold sat there and said that if the Palestinians are being genocided, we shouldn't care because their culture is backwards. Hassan then debated Asmongold about that topic. The problem is, Hassan basically believes the exact same thing as Asmongold. Hassan justified the Chinese imperialistic conquest of Tibet because Tibet's culture was backwards. You can't make this up. Okay, because it's their territory. Seems. Do you want me to? Do you want? No, 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 no. Do you want me to describe not, it? No, I don't want to get into the Taiwan thing because I don't want to get say to Tibet and Taiwan and then not expect me to to to, <sighs> to explain I, the nuance. I just, I'm not ready for this tangent because. Okay, Ethan, but like, go Tibet ahead, go is, ahead. Tibet was literally a fucking feudal uh, slave uh, mandate, uh, uh, in, like, so autonomous China was, zone. So China, China did them a favor. That was one, I mean, in America, when I say something like this, people get very upset. You know, we, we talk about the Dalai Lama saying, suck my tongue or whatever, but like, that's not far from the norm in fucking normal Tibetan so, existence before the Communist Party came in and, and so China took over. unilaterally took over Tibet, like wealth these are, their culture. They basically are trying to, you know, homogenize the culture. If your culture- They're it, trying to squell the religion and the, the, part, the identity. The part of, the part of feudal warlords and slavery, abolishing that, yes, I do think that that is good. No. Now, ironically enough, what does that logic sound like? That sounds like the logic that white nationalists and white supremacists use on Twitter and other platforms to justify colonialism. Well, the natives just weren't civilized. When the Spaniards came and went to battle with the Aztecs, they were sacrificing people on pyramids, so it's not that big of a deal that they completely erase their language and culture and religion and all of that. It's still a big deal because they, they undid a backwards culture. They undid a backwards culture. This is the justification for all European colonialism. And I want everyone watching this video to understand there are a lot of progressives who are only against imperialism, colonialism, homophobia, sexism, and racism when it's done by white people. When white people do these things, 
sound the alarms, everybody panic. When any other group of people does these things, huh, don't know what's going on, can't see, huh, huh. Can you help me? Can you help me find the racism? Can you see it? Where is it? That's basically progressives today. They don't have the balls to look my minority groups and non-white groups in the eye and say, hey, that's effed up. Hey, that's not okay. It's even funnier because in the conversation with Asmongold, Hassan excuses Palestinian homophobia by saying, well, Palestinians are getting blown up by Israel right now, so they don't really have the time to think about not being homophobic. It's not defensible, but I think most people, including like the yeah. gay Palestinians or queer Palestinians or queer Lebanese people sure, understand anything. that... There is no room for advocating for civil liberties in your own domestic policies when you are escaping bombings, bombing campaigns. So, need I remind you, what's going on in Gaza right now has not been going on all the time. This is a new iteration of the conflict between Israel and Palestine. Palestinians could very well choose to not mistreat gay people at their leisure. It's up to them. I, it's it, the idea that you, in order to fight the, the Israeli conquerors, I must shove gay people off of buildings. You don't have to do both. For example, not the exact same comparison, but still, forget it. I'm a black man in America. Our community isn't the most, you know, welcoming to gay people or trans people. I would never sit there and say, well, in the fight against white supremacy, black people don't have the time to worry about the rights of gays and transgenders when we're fighting against white supremacy. It is a conscious decision to ruin the life of someone else because of their sexuality or gender expression. Let's just make that abundantly clear. Trying to excuse the lack of progressivism in Middle Eastern or African countries that are Islamic or otherwise, even Christian, because of bad living conditions or even war is ridiculous. These nations of their own free will choose to, choose to engage in homophobia, transphobia and the like, and acting as though war, and acting as though war is somehow an excuse to treat your fellow human like shit is absolutely not acceptable. Hassan is lying. It is not, these two things are completely mutually exclusive. And I don't, if I'm a Palestinian and I hate Israel, I don't have to shove a gay person off of a roof in order to fight Israel. These two things are not, these two, these two things are very much mutually exclusive. The idea that you have to have one with the other is not true. It doesn't, now Asmongold is still not justified in what he said. Just because Palestinians are intolerant of gay people does not mean that all of a sudden Palestinians should be wiped from the earth or if they are being wiped from the earth, we shouldn't care. That's not the way we were supposed to roll as America, as the West. We're supposed to hold ourselves to a higher standard than that. And it's again, it's funny because Asmongold supports Trump, who is being puppeteered by a movement of, of far right you know, conservatives who want to repeal the rights of women, gay people and minorities. So as he sits there and says, well, if the Palestinians are being genocided, I don't care because genocide is in it's Sharia law, which I'm pretty sure it is not. I'm pretty sure the genocide part is unique to Hamas, uh, Hezbollah and the Houthis. I'm pretty sure that's not a part of, I'm 100% certain genocide is not a pillar of Islam or a part of um, Sharia law. Um, and sure, the Palestinians do have a lot of backwards beliefs about the world. But again, that does not mean we shouldn't extend our empathy and sympathy to them. But to point out my point to Asmongold and people who think like him, you guys are walking down the same path as the Palestinians. Homophobia is a choice. Transphobia is a choice. You choose to do these. You don't have to do this while fighting a resistance fight or a war. Conservatives in America are choosing to be regressive with literally like just just choosing to. MAGA Trump supporters are like are regressive. You're walking down the same path as Palestinians, literally. How is it that they're wrong for being regressive, but you're okay for being regressive? Make that one make sense. How does that work? How is it okay for you guys to embrace rules and regulations and laws that obstruct the rights of minorities, women, people of color, etc., LGBTQ folk? But when the Palestinians do it, we shouldn't care about anything that ever happens to them ever. I know Asmongold apologized, but I still want to make my point abundantly clear.
This is not a video meant to co-sign or support Asmongold, but it is a video meant to point out the fact that Twitch and Hassan are unbelievably hypocritical. And I'm not going to let either entity get away with what's going on right now because we might be on the cusp of World War III and I can't stand people or organizations that propagate propaganda of enemies of the United States. I'm sick and tired of MAGA right now and I'm really sick and tired of Russia right now. The last thing we need is propaganda of terror organizations and Iran on the internet. Not standing for it, not effing with it, not cool with it, and somebody needs to call it out. It gets worse. Hassan, in case you didn't know, brought a terrorist, a real life terrorist onto his stream with an interpreter. He brought a member of the Houthi terror organization onto his stream. Need I remind you guys, the Houthis were the terror organization that hijacked cargo ships in the Red Sea in response to Israel's response to October 7th. Israel responded to an act of war, with war, and because the Palestinians weren't winning this iteration of the war that they started, the Houthis took it upon themselves to block up trade in the Red Sea. Now, progressives on that far left side have convinced themselves that the Houthis were block like blocking up like Amazon packages, which that's not even true because if you were endorsing a terror organization that was blocking up Jeff Bezos' money, you actually might have been banned from Twitch for a little while. The reality is they were blocking up international trade, the transport of essential goods that bring about that are conducive to a proper first world or at least developing world standard of living in 2023 2024 the houthis were proud brazenly proud to block that up take people hostage who were working those ships and have not returned those people to their families and hassan thinks it's appropriate to bring those people onto his stream does twitch do anything about it no, he brings the man onto his stream and compares him to Luffy from One Piece. Yeah. That's sick. Yes, yes. That's fire. That's uh, that's so fire. Oh my god. Dude, we we think um we think uh, the Houthis on Allah is doing uh what Luffy would do. You should tell him that. Uh uh like Hassan and uh Okay, this is Oh, and it gets worse, by the way. Hassan then compares the terrorist to Anne Frank. Anne Frank. <laughs> Anne Frank, bro. He compares a terrorist to Anne Frank. Because there's a genocide going on in Yemen, a terrorist who's blocking up the Red Sea, trying to ruin the lives of others to aid in a conflict that has nothing to do with them or the Houthis, that guy is comparable to Anne Frank. Uh, Chalamet. Uh, is he that was... the, uh, the One Piece one? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. This kid, this kid is like, I think he was like 19 at the time when I talked mm -hmm. to him. Which means that for most of his life, he has withstood genocide, right? Like he's, sure. he is a person whose only experience is like, it's literally like talking to fucking Anne Frank, basically. Okay. Being able to talk to Anne Frank, uh, in, in real time. That's all he's known is, is death and destruction. We need to wake up to the fact that there are enemies in our midst progressives far left progressives who are on the side of china russia uh iran the houthis hezbollah because they're non-white let's let's call it what it is it's all just non-white sympathy because if these if this if these were white people doing this if these were white people throwing gay people off buildings constantly attacking their neighbors blocking up international trade discriminating against trans people and the like we wouldn't be having this conversation the progressives would unilaterally condemn it but because people who are non-white are doing this we unfortunately have to have a conversation that should be basic enough to be understood to the point where we shouldn't even we shouldn't even be talking about this but we are for some reason henceforth we are which reminds me Hassan, when speaking to Asmongold, then sits there and says that Iran is more progressive toward trans people than the United States in some ways, which is absolutely false in every conceivable way. Time and time again, I, you find these content creators who try to normalize enemies of the United States to young Americans. Wake up and realize who these people are. I understand he's popular. I understand he's well-liked. I don't even dislike the guy, but I don't even know the nigga. My problem is the propagation 
of propaganda that turns Americans away from liberal ideas toward radical progressivism that then leads you towards sympathy toward radical Islam, Sharia law, communism, etc., etc. Things that are in no way, shape, or form liberal or progressive. Ever since, there are plenty of gay and trans people. By the way, Iran is actually weirdly very pro-trans, but uh, I'm sure that uh, you probably didn't know that. They're very homophobic, I but they didn't. are... They are yeah. uh, they are very pro trans. Weird. A lot of a lot of cultures yeah. are actually very pro trans, uh, way more than the United States of America. Maybe to a fault at times, like Iran, uh, when Norse, they do forcible I mean, gender. At, uh, I mean, you it's even crazy he says this because a study in Healthcare for Women International found that 92 percent of trans women in Iran had faced verbal or emotional violence, and over 70 percent had faced physical violence. It further found that most people do not report this violence to the authorities and believe that reporting it is useless. Most participants in a 2018 study in quality and quantity had experiences of being accused, arrested, and physically abused by the police and faced discrimination in the workplace, including fe being fired for being trans. Division between trans men and trans women portrays trans men as more real or valid than trans women. A 2016 report by Outright Action International found that trans Iranians continue to face discrimination and abuse in both law and practice, and they are rarely treated as equal members of society. And that the Iranian trans community faces pressure from both state and non-state actors ranging from hostile public attitudes to extreme acts of violence, risk of arrest, detention, and prosecution. The report noted that Iranian police would often arrest anyone they suspected of being trans and would hold them in custody until they could complete an official investigation investigation to determine that the arrested individual was legally recognized as trans. Police would also frequently target trans people for flogging under anti-cross-dressing rules. Justice for Iran has found that censorship laws prevent access to accurate information on matters relating to sexual orientation and gender identity. So Hassan Piker tries to make it seem like these nations are more friendly to trans people than the United States. They most certainly are not. We have our problems. We have our issues. We have MAGA lunatics in this country trying to ruin life for everyone who is non-white, conservative, Christian, and male. But we are absolutely nowhere close to Iran or any of these other Islamofascist countries in any way, shape, or form. I don't know why progressives are so obsessed with trying to normalize regressivism as long as it comes from non-whites. I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on, but no, <laughs> no. We're like, like progressivism is supposed to be for real for everybody. Like this is not a thing where we just quit progressivism like when, uh-uh, no. Hassan then also plays a terror propaganda video for his friend plays a terror propaganda video for his friend. Now, I got to give it up. Let's give it up. Arabs are literally the best at just like, like, bro, when it comes to just like turning up for whatever movement, whatever they got going on, whether it's like terrorism to sheets or just like, you know, any kind of music meant to just drum you up to just take action. I don't care what y'all say. Arabs are literally like the best. Okay, like no one can touch them. No one can. Bro, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. But then the Shiites, all of that. I don't care what y'all say. Terrorism or not, that they're banging. The songs are bangers. I don't care what y'all say, bro. Like it's the facts, bro. It is the facts. No matter how you spin it, still terrorism though. Your ass should still be banned though. But I can't lie. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how. I don't know how Arabs figured it out, but salute to y'all, bro. Terrorism or not, these niggas made a banger, okay? But regardless of how good the song was, again, Hassan promotes a terror organization on his stream. He should be getting banned or reprimanded for this. He should be on Cozy TV right now with the amount of terror endorsement he's engaged in on his platform. Twitch has done absolutely nothing about it. To make matters worse again, the dude sits there while speaking to his friend about Hezbollah and sits there and says that I don't really have a problem with Hezbollah, they're a resistance movement. Hezbollah, in this current iteration of the Israeli-Palestine conflict, Israeli-Palestinian conflict, excuse me, 
they started firing rockets at Israel on October 8th. For a year, they were firing rockets. Didn't receive much of a, of a serious response until a whole year later. And now Hassan wants you and me to believe Israel's the villain for responding because civilians died. As if civilians in Israel wouldn't die if the Iron Dome wasn't there. No matter what side you're on, a terror organization that is not involved in the current conflict between one terror organization and Israel jumping into the conflict, forcing 100,000 Israeli citizens to leave the north when they are responded to, now all of a sudden, we're, we're, we're supposed to have a problem with that. We're supposed to have a problem with a terror organization that brazenly talks about killing homosexuals. We're supposed to have a problem with that group who ignited their own conflict with Israel. We're supposed to have a problem with them being responded to. He says, I don't have a problem with Hezbollah. A lot of people don't like them, but I don't have a problem with them. This is the guy who's supposedly progressive. This guy supports a terror group fanning the flames of a conflict, trying to turn it into a like literal like uh regional conflict excuse me i was looking for the term regional conflict fanning the flames of the conflict trying to turn it regional and you don't have a problem with them they talk about killing homosexuals and you don't have a problem with them hezbollah is <laughs> this is the same name okay uh hezbollah is a is a paramilitary organization that is also a uh, part of the Lebanese parliament. Do we like them or no? I think as a resistance group, they're pretty successful against Israel. Um, oh. But everybody hates them. Like, everybody in the region. A lot of people don't like them. Like, I like what you like. I don't have an issue with them, let's just say. Make that make sense. And then, of course, the progresso bots hop in the comment section. You got to understand Israel invaded Lebanon, right? Like when the PLO literally went into Le Lebanon illegally after being ex expelled from Jordan for committing terror attacks and assassination attempts on the fucking king. And then they illegally went to Lebanon and set up shop there and attacked Israel from Lebanon, which caused two different invasions. Stop playing. At the end of the day, what Hezbollah is doing from Lebanon trying to attack Israel is wrong. It's stupid. And it got the response it was supposed to get. Now we're supposed to sit here and support Hezbollah and sit there and say, mm, nothing wrong there. Crazy. Crazy. And they use the deaths of civilians to manipulate you into supporting terror groups because terror groups never kill civilians. And, you know, when they do, it's only a small amount because they don't really want to kill that many. Not because they wouldn't kill a whole bunch if they could. Every, this is literally a fact. Even this is the only thing Asmongold got correct. Terror groups would kill way more Israelis if they could. They just can't. The games that are being played by these advocates for our enemies are so clear as day and do not align with them. We can have empathy, sympathy for Gaza. We can pressure Israel to let aid into Gaza. We can force Israel to hold soldiers accountable who commit war crimes. We can do all of these humanitarian things and force them to abide by international law. But what we're not going to do is endorse and support terrorism. Not going to happen. Not going to do it. Not going to happen. You have the idiots that sit there and say, well, America is the biggest terror organization of all time. None of y'all want to live under Houthi rule. None of you want to live under Hezbollah rule. None of you want to live under Hamas rule. And none of you want to live under Iranian rule. And none of you are actually about that life at all. Please stop. Now let's move on to Sneeko. Sneeko is an individual who was banned from every platform like a year and a half ago. And recently, he's, he's been embracing white supremacy, but now he's disavowed white supremacy. But he's a Holocaust denier, doesn't really believe that six you know, million people died in the Holocaust, has openly associated with white supremacists and endorsed their ideologies concerning the Jews. He's a known and avid anti-Semite, and he's a terror supporter. And Twitch has recently unbanned him and welcomed him back to the platform. That's weird, right? That a creator could engage in some of the most brand risky statements and conduct you could ever witness for a year and a half, reach the precipice of brand risk by being a literal anti-Semite Holocaust denier and just be welcome to Twitch. At this point, let's all ask the question we all wanna ask. Does Jeff Bezos know what's, what's going on over there? Somebody called Jeffrey. Does he know what y'all are doing over there? Does he know what y'all are up to on Twitch? 
Somebody has to ask the question, who on God's green earth looks at Sneeko's behavior for the last year and a half and says, you should definitely come back to this platform. That's insane to me. In case you don't believe me about the anti-Semitism part in the Holocaust denial, here's the clip. How many Jews died in the Holocaust? Why? That's such an easy, that's like a softball, right? I mean, I wasn't there. How, do, how many, there you how go. what do you think? Well, the, yeah, I mean, it's about 6 million, right, is the, is the general historical uh, estimate. Yeah, it, it was exactly that. No more, no less. It was exactly that. Let, let's wow, that is like, so that's like the dumbest, lowest IQ take ever. Sneeko says, one year since Israel lied about October 7th to justify genocide, free Palestine from this evil. So apparently Israel lied about being attacked, an attack which we all saw on camera. This is like that free my nigga shit. Free my nigga, Daquan Tavius, he ain't do none, blah, blah, blah. The nigga that recorded himself on camera crash and now we didn't already seen it. It's that free my nigga shit where the, the nigga in question committed a violent crime. We all saw it and now we're all supposed to pretend we didn't see it. Sucks to suck, but Hamas recorded themselves. Not really sure if that was like the like the semester, like submit. Like I know Iran's probably like, look, like we're sending you a lot of money, a lot of weapons. You need to show us you're actually doing something with that. So we need like an end of the semester, like show us that stuff's actually being used, please. We need to figure out if, if, if employing you is working. So, you know, Hamas records themselves committing atrocities. And according to Sneeko, Israel just lied about October 7th. Then on October 7th of 2023, the day of the terror attack, Sneeko says, Allahu Akbar. Normally, in a normal, reasonable world, a company like Twitch would never associate with someone who celebrates a terror attack. But Sneeko is now welcome back to Twitch. You can't make this stuff up. You can't. And at this point, I'm going to just change the title to Twitch, the home of terror and anti-Semitism. Because how the fuck do you keep... There's no way they don't keep track of Sneeko. I'm sorry, bro. Like, if you're a student of the game, you know what he's been up to for the last year and a half. Since 2022, he has been on a path of misogyny, racism, anti-Semitic. Well, anti is racism, but, like, he's been, like, racist toward, like, mad groups of people. Sneeko has been on a path of ugly, nasty, disgusting behavior. And Twitch, after witnessing all of that, I hope they know. I, it'd be crazy if Twitch, a streaming platform doesn't know what one of the biggest streamers in the world is up to in terms of his ideological positions. Twitch, despite knowing this man's insanity, sits there and says, yeah, bring him back. Yeah, bring him in. It looks kind of weird like th th that someone could be a Holocaust denier, celebrate October 7th, say that Israel was lying about what literally was recorded on video by Hamas and be welcomed to the platform. How in the, how do you do that? How? How? <laughs> how do you do that? It's one thing to have Hassan there. Like, look, I, I know Hassan's tight with all the people at Twitch, blah, blah, blah. It's one thing to get rid of him. It's another thing to grab a guy you already banned who got worse since you banned him and say, you come back, come back. You've, you've done a great job doing whatever it is that they think Sneeko's been up to. Come back to Twitch. That is insane to me. Wake up, liberals. Wake up. We gotta wake up. The MAGAites are not the only crazies in our midst. We've got real lunatics being backed and supported by Twitch. And it begs the question, I'm about to go full Doomer, who the fuck is paying them? Besides, I'm obviously they're owned by Amazon or Jeff Bezos or whatever, but what is going on over there ideologically? Something ain't right over there. Real talk, like, I'm not just trying to be funny, like, Support for terror organizations, Holocaust denial, which brings me to the final person that we're going to talk about, this individual by the name of Frogan. She had a crazy comment to make on October 7th as well. So on October 7th, Frogan said, left this preach and foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America. But as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. So after Hamas slaughtered a bunch of people at a festival and wiped out entire families of people, blah, blah, blah. They did kill some soldiers, but it was very much a civilian, like, whack-a-mole session. She then is, Twitch says, hey, this chick is a legendary woman on our platform. 
Someone who celebrates a terror attack is a legendary woman on Twitch. Someone who supports Hamas is a legendary woman on Twitch. No matter how you feel about the conflict, this is not acceptable. Hamas is not your friend if you're a progressive, okay? It's not your friend. Hezbollah, not your friend. Houthis, not your friend. Iran, not your friend. They're not your buddies. Sorry to say it. I have plenty of sympathy for the people of Gaza. I 100% support Joe Biden and Kamala Harris pressuring Israel to let aid in, hold people who commit war crimes accountable, to follow international law within war, and to hold whoever accountable who breaks it during war. I'm all for that. I know some of y'all want Israel to dissolve because you're an idiot, but I'm all for pressuring our leaders to try to hold Israel accountable during a time of war. We need to talk about the people in our midst who support terror, the people in our midst who support genocidal acts, the people in our midst who are insane, who are literally celebrated by Twitch. Literally celebrated. This is crazy. YouTube would snipe your ass for less. I, the fact that this is even happening is unbelievable to me. And then, and then when Ethan Klein and other people on the left were upset at her comments, she became the victim. She's now the victim. Ethan Klein's anti-Arab, he's anti-Palestinian, he's an Islamophobe, blah, blah, blah. And this chick who celebrates a terror attack is a legendary woman on Twitch. I don't know what they're smoking on Twitch, but it's so bad, I don't even want it. I don't, I don't even keep it over there. I don't even want it. Whatever's going on over there, crazy, bro. A part of me wants to send Trump to go figure out this. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Part of me doesn't even want Biden and Kamala to go back. Send, send, send Trump. He can do something productive, bro, for the first time in his eight years of terrorizing this country. Send Trump over there to Twitch to figure out what's going on. I guarantee you within 24 hours, the problem is solved with Trump. I, I hate to say it, but that's how bad it is. I can't wait for him to be locked up, but let's let him do one thing. Let Trump go up in there and Twitch and figure out what's going on because this is crazy. That's how bad it is that now we're, we're pitting insane against insane. We have to. Insane that this is happening. Unbelievable that this is happening. And Asmongold gets banned. Asmongold, I was hoping Twitch would do that. I, I was like, Twitch, please ban this white nigga. And they did it. And now I get to make this video. Man, it's crazy. I mean, like, this is crazy. The fact that Twitch banned him. The fact that Twitch banned him is just a blessing unbelievable blessing thank you for banning asmongold because now i get to make the video that i want to make now i get to make it and then to top the video off and finally end it today on october 17th hassan piker was questioned in his chat about why he was defending the houthi pirate who made a post about putting zionists on a pike Zionist being someone who believes in the existence of the state of Israel, meaning if you live in Israel and you believe that your state, your home country should exist, he's going to put you on a pike, going to kill you. Not because you did anything wrong, but because you're born in your home country, you deserve to be on a pike. Does Hassan Piker sit there and say, I ain't gonna lie, he was a terrorist, but this, you know, this post is a little bit too crazy? No, actually... He sits there and starts talking about material conditions and this guy can't hurt you and he's not a threat to you. It's not that big of a deal. I shit you not. I don't understand why you wouldn't care if he's out there tweeting an image of a Jewish uh, person on a pike. I don't understand why this problem can't be approached with nuance because he is a teenager in Yemen, dude. These people have no material power. They cannot touch you. They cannot harm you. That's the point. Okay. There are real fucking Nazis in the United States of America. And also, what do you mean? It's just a person on a pike. There's no Jewish person on a pike on that photo, unless I saw something, unless I saw something different. Okay. This is why this entire conversation is fucking idiotic. It's not a Jewish person. He said, this is, I think if we're, why am I held accountable for some random fucking 19 year old in Yemen's tweets. What is happening? How many steps removed are we from this situation? How? How is this the conversation that you want to have right now? I fucking despise all of you, dude. 
How many degrees are we removed from this? You had the nigga on your stream, bro. That That's you. That's on you. You had him on your stream. Shouldn't have done that, but you knew better. You're, you're like a grown-ass man. You had the man on your stream. It doesn't matter if he's a teenager. It doesn't matter if... Uh, by the way, the whole they can't harm you, this is the same Houthi organization that tried to disrupt global trade. They can very much harm the world. They can very much harm the world. The same Houthis, by the way, that are backed up by Iran. The same Iran that's trading missiles with Israel right now. We're on the cusp of World War III in part because of Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis. In fact, directly thanks to Hamas and the meddling of the Houthis and Hezbollah. And because we are closer to World War III, I want to tell you, no, it is not true that these organizations are not a threat to you. There is a reason why your federal government gives a fuck about geopolitics, because what goes on somewhere can very well become your problem soon enough. This childish notion of, oh, it's over there. That's what conservatives say. Ukraine is over there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect us. That's what stupid MAGA people say. And he doesn't want to take any accountability. He's got nothing to do with me. It wasn't a real Jewish person on the pike. The dude said he's going to put Zionists on a pike. Zionist literally means someone who believes in the existence and the development of a Jewish state. It doesn't just mean colonizer Jews who want to take over the West Bank. No, it means someone who believes in the existence of a Jewish state, who supports the existence of a Jewish state. <sighs> Hello, just because a person on the pike doesn't look Jewish or doesn't have Jewish put on top of their head doesn't mean he's not saying I'm going to kill people in Israel who think they deserve to live in Israel and exist in Israel in peace. Hassan's only in this situation because he chooses to post content featuring a terrorist on his stream. Niggas wouldn't be asking you about this if you didn't do that, though. That's the crazy part. Like, you wouldn't be dealing with this if you didn't bring a terrorist onto your stream. And then when people ask you to condemn the guy talking about wanting to put Zionists to death, you don't want to be held accountable for it. it ain't nobody else dealing with this shit but you, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody else but you, bro. Even Sneeko crazy ass, as far as I know, has not had any real life terrorists on his streams. It's just you. And then when someone asks you, like, yo, like, gonna say anything about that? You have nothing to say. In fact, you get angry at your chat. Then don't bring terrorists on your stream. <laughs> like, it's simple mathematics. Don't bring the terrorists on your stream if you don't want people saying so. The terrorist buddy of yours said this. What do you think about that? Just don't bring them on. You won't have to answer for the terrorist person's comments. Now, if you had debated him or argued with him, maybe people wouldn't care about what the kid posted and why he got banned. But because you went on, you fucking sat there and brought him on your stream, now you got to answer for it. This is bullshit. This is terror support. They're supporting terrorism. And if you are a progressive, you shouldn't be supporting this. People like Hassan Piker and Frogan and others utilize their non-white Anglo-Saxon Protestant status to sneak in non-progressive ideologies into the minds of young Americans who think they're on the right side of politics. And they use the right side of politics as a shield. Oh, I'm not homophobic. I'm not transphobic. I'm not racist. However, given the right situation, I will abandon any and all progressive values in order to support what I want. That's what these people do. They abandon any and all progressivism to support what they want to support. It's the facts. And we have to talk about the facts. Twitch, Twitch, but Twitch, I don't know what y'all have got going on over there, but this has to stop. The support for terrorism has to stop. This has to stop. It's unacceptable. Support for terrorism is an unacceptable thing on any platform. It has to end. Welcoming people who deny the Holocaust and promote terrorism is unacceptable. It is disgusting that you banned Asmongold. I was hoping you wouldn't do it. So you, you would at least be consistent. It is what it is. That's where we are right now. Don't know what's going on. Don't know how we got here, but it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm done.